Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this loop in Blender. So let's get started. Add a plane and under the geometry nodes click on new. Delete the group input and add a grid. Set the size to 35 and the vertices to 100. Add a triangulate node. We also need a scale elements node. To change the position add a set position node. Add an extrude mesh node. For the offset let's use a position node. Let's bring that over here. Add a vector math node. Now we are going to combine the position with a normal node. Duplicate the vector math node and let's add a noise texture. Set the scale to 0.1. Plug the color into the top socket and duplicate the vector math node and plug this vector in here and this one in here. Duplicate it twice again. Set this one to normalize and this one to cross product. Plug this vector into the normalize and into the top socket here and this one into the bottom socket. Take this one and duplicate it again. Plug the normalize into the top socket and the cross product into the bottom socket. Now plug the vector into the offset of the set position node and now we have something like this. Duplicate one of the vector math nodes again and set it to minimum. We also need one set to maximum. Take this vector and plug it into the top socket. Set the vector here to 0.07. Now plug the vector into the top socket and set this one to 0.07 again. Plug the vector into the offset of the extrude mesh node. Now here let's type in minus 0.5. I'm going to set the scale of the noise texture to 0.2. Add a transform node and put it here. Open the timeline. I'll set the end frame to 100 and the frame rate to 30. On frame 1 keyframe the rotation. Go to frame 101 and set the set rotation to 180 and keyframe it again. Here press A, T and select linear. Add a set material node. In the material properties click on new and select it here. Now let's save and go to shading. I'll put the link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Go to rendered view. I'm going to use Eevee for this. Make sure ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections are enabled. You can also go to color management and set the view transform to filmic and they look to very high contrast. Make sure to set this back to the default settings before compiling the images. Go to film and make it transparent. Here set the metallic to 1. Let's also set the roughness to 0. Add an ambient occlusion node. Plug the color into the base color here. Now we need a color ramp. Set the black to 0.2 and the white to 0.8. Duplicate it and put it here and flip it. Here check inside. Now add an emission node. Set the strength to 7.4 and plug the color of this color ramp into the color here. Now add a mix shader node. Plug the emission into the top socket and let's take this factor and plug it into this color ramp. Save again and go back to layout mode. Go into edit mode and press A and delete on the numpad and 7. Go to this icon here and click and drag. I'm doing this so that the view is right at the center. Go back to object mode and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view and G and set twice to move it on the local set axis. Let's save again and press F12 to render one of the images. Close this window and go to compositing. Enable use nodes. Ctrl Shift click on this node so that we can see the image here. Now press Shift and right click and drag over here. Add a glare node, set it to fog glow and set the size to 8. Let's also set this to high. Add a color balance node. I'm going to make the lift purple, the gamma blue and the gain red. Go to the output properties and select an output folder. I just noticed that I set the frame rate back to 24 so let's set it to 30. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.